Thanks for your support as a channel member, PP0476. That's a catchy name. For the first time in this year's non-leaked legend, we're on the telly for our FA Cup. Is it, it's the second round, isn't it? FA Cup second round tie against Mensfield. Mensfield? Mansfield. This has been a good intro already. Um, if you're excited to see Kings Lynn on the telly in a video, let's make sure we leave a thumbs up on the video. We're looking for we're looking to keep at least 2,000 likes a video going for as long as we possibly can. The longer we keep that going, the better. 2,000 likes. I think that's doable. Hello and welcome to part six of non to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have that FA Cup second round tie away against Mansfield on the telly. And we're also away against Geisley in the Vanarama National League North. Since you were last with me, we've not actually played a lot of games. We had the... Uh, the two games in the last episode, including the horrible last minute draw against Telford. It's making me crack my fingers just thinking about it. Um, but we then absolutely smashed St. Neots in the uh, in the FA Trophy. Didn't we sort this in the last episode? How has this gone back? What is going on here? <laughs> I, I remember doing this in a video. I don't understand... There we go. That's the wrong. That's that's wrong now. They've ruined me by taking that out. Let's move that down one. Ah, oh, that'll do. I don't like where the the attendance is. That needs moving somewhere. Why is goal scorer still not on there? There we go. That's more like it. So we smashed St Neots. Um, we then beat Spennymore as well in the league. Marriott coming in with another goal. Adam Marriott. The, uh, the Vanarama National League North Player of the Month, um, now with 11 goals in 20 games. Doesn't quite tell the whole story, though, because his league form um, in, what was that, November was four goals in three games. He is very quickly turning into the Adam Marriott we we're all hoping for. And as you can see, we're now up to sixth place in the league, only six points off top of the table, Alfreton. So we'll worry about the league again in the second half of the episode. But for now, we're going to Mansfield in the FA Cup. Um, this is Mansfield, their third in League Two. That makes them quite a good side. I'm now looking at this thinking, should I be going there and doing the tiki-taka or should I be doing some kind of counter-attacking system? But look at the form. We've, we started doing the tiki-taka here. There's been the odd game here and there. Notably, these away draws where we didn't score any goals, where we've done a counter-attacking system. But by and large, for the last two months that have gone really, really well... We've done Tiki Taka home and away. So I think that's what we're going to do. And if we get absolutely battered, we'll learn from it. That's the important thing. So we're going with Watkins in goal. A back three of Fryett, McCauley and Smith. Kenyon and Jones as our wing backs. Payne and Carter in midfield. Aaron Sibia behind Danaher and Marriott Danaher, by the way. I know I've given him some stick. Um, he's now got five goals this season. He might actually get into double figures. After the start he had, that would be a sensation. Um, so let's get into the game. <laughs> Remember, we're playing against league opposition. League opposition that are doing well in their league. We should get absolutely battered today. Um, we're the underdogs here. Let's go and cause an upset. Yeah, there you go. But it would be nice if we could pick up even a draw, bring them back to our place. But let's have a uh, cup run to fun. Let's get a little bit of a cup run going. That's what we're all after. Um, we've got nothing to lose going into this game. We're in fantastic form. If you took the first half dozen games of the season out of the equation, we'd have we'd be comfortably clear at the top of our league by now. So we're in just as good form as they're in, albeit two divisions below them. These kits look the same colour to my colourblind eyes. I think they're wearing yellow and we're wearing a yellowy green. Or it might be the other way round. I don't know who's got the ball. This is going to be the worst commentary you've ever heard in a football match. Because I, and until I see the names appear, I'm not going to be sure who's got the ball. We've just conceded a goal. Because I know that, because I know Danny Rose doesn't play for us. So it's 1-0 to Mansfield on 23 minutes. It's going to be very interesting. 
to see how we replied to this because of those first 23 minutes, although we have slightly edged possession, as you would expect of a possession-based system, um, we've barely got out of our half. We've we've not really we've not crafted anything in the way of chances. We've not had a shot yet. So I think Mansfield are just very much letting us have the ball in harmless in harmless areas. And when it actually counts, they're just taking it off us, charging into our half and putting us in our place, although they're now uninterested, which feels like a time for us to have 10 minutes of passion because while they've switched off and think they've got the job done, let's go and shock them by grabbing an equaliser just before half time. That would be awesome. Kenyon's in loads of space and we know he can shoot from there, but it goes just over. That's when we needed a moment of magic from Kenyon. Just stick that into the top corner and all of a sudden... It's a very different game going into that second half. Um, unlucky boys, things just haven't gone right for us so far. There you go. That's relaxed them. I want them relaxed. I don't want them complacent, but I want them relaxed. I don't want them to feel like they have to win. Obviously, they're already on the telly. Their families are all watching. So it's a big moment for a lot of these players. I want them to go out there and enjoy the experience because, let's face it, we're probably not going to win the FA Cup. But if this is like a motivational, we were on the telly, we've all got the DVD to stick on our shelves and give to give to granny at Christmas, then that's a feel good thing to take into the rest of the season. So I don't want them to be stressed out by the experience, even if it means we are going to lose. Fryat's having a pretty poor game. We've got Barrows on the bench. He's not the ideal man to bring on at centre back. But if I've learned one thing in the first half of this season, it's that we don't have a, a fourth centre back. So at times like this, we uh, that's the wrong move. At times like this, we have to we have to bring Barrows on and he plays there. It, there's nothing we can do about that, really. Marriott's not having a very good game at all. Um, but I'm actually going to bring Clunan on for Aaron Sibia. Um, push Carter further forward and just, just shore up the midfield a little bit. I don't think we should be pushing too hard. If we get back into the game, then great. Barrows, we've seen him score a free kick so far this season. He's done it again! The youngster, Ross Barrows. We've got a free kick specialist. When he did that on his debut, I thought, that's a fun debut. But he's now done it on the telly. Look at the state of that from Ross Barrows. Only his second goal of the season. But they've both been absolute worldies. And let's face it, he doesn't play a lot of games. Wowzers, we need to find a way to shoehorn that man into the team week in, week out because of that. We just can we have a 12th man who just takes the free kicks? He's not great as an actual player, he doesn't really fit into the system, and when he does, he doesn't really perform. But that is so valuable to have someone who can do that. Wowzers, right? I'm going to take Marriott off. For these last 10 minutes, get Gash on. Danaher can go a little bit further forward. Imagine. I mean, I might I might just... Come on, lads. They're uninterested. We've got them on the ropes. Let's go and cause an upset. We've got five minutes left. Just play your hearts out and see what happens. I'm not expecting it, but wouldn't it be lovely if it happened? That's what that... I mean, it's quite a wordy shout from the touchline, but... I think they'll get the message. They know me by now. That's what I'm looking for. I just want them to have fun. Uh, that wasn't fun for any of us. It was nice to dream. It was nice to have our moment of excitement. And for Barrows, it's going to be nice to have that. I mean, that's going to be... Can you still have those animated wallpapers on Facebook? I haven't been on Facebook for years. That had just come in the last time I was on Facebook properly. Are they still there? Because if they are, that's his for life now. Doing that on the telly. Well, we've not even got Marriott on the pitch. We ain't getting back into it. We gave it a good go. We uh, we certainly haven't embarrassed ourselves there. Um, everyone gave us every, everything. Everyone's happy. It's motivated us. Hopefully it's put some money in the bank as well. Um, I don't know if we get much in the kitty for... I mean, that's given us about 10, 15 grand. So that's a helpful amount of money. And now hopefully we can take our our motivation from that into Geisley and pick up another league win. Leave win? League win. No changes for the Geisley game then. There are a couple of issues developing. Um, we've just 
and given Marriott a new contract, it's basically doubled his salary, which is a problem. We were doing all right with wage budget before, but now we're showing as struggling with wage budget. It set me into a little bit of a panic. We now need to find £600 a week. Um, we've got I've, we've got £300 of that coming back in January for a deal I didn't really want to do, but Michael Cloonan wanted to leave anyway, and he was causing a little bit of dynamics grumpiness. We've not got a fee for him, though, which I know he's out of contract at the end of the season. So, actually, he's not. He had two. He had 18 months left. But he didn't want to be here. And I offered him out, and no one offered a fee. And then they came back and offered to take him for nothing. And I've let him go, or he's going. So, I mean, he's been a regular part of the team until very recently when he's fallen out of the team. And he just had a grumpy on. So... Yeah, go. He's upset about Alex Street leaving. He's gone. He's done. That's three hundred pounds of it back. Still need to find the other three hundred. There are four or five players I would like to move on to get us maybe eight hundred pounds, so that we can. Um, what are we gonna do? We're favourites out there. Good. Go out there. Give the fans something to cheer for. Yeah, if we can generate eight hundred pounds in wage budget. That means we bring ourselves back within budget and can go and bring in another central defender, which we need for if we pick up any kind of injury to the three that we've got, we have a problem because we're going to have to completely change the system around. And that's not ideal because it's, we've finally got a system that's working. So we kind of need to wrap these three in cotton wool, but centre-backs pick up suspensions, they pick up injuries. We can't go through the rest of the season as part of a promotion push knowing that any one of those three players could get injured and completely derail things. So there is transfer business that needs to be done, but we've now got our hands tied a little bit by pesky transfer windows, particularly with Clunan, because he's off to play in the Football League for Macclesfield for nothing. Can't believe that. Cannot believe I've done that. But I, f I felt like my hands were tied. People keep telling me they've seen people getting sacked as soon as they start struggling with that club vision stuff. So it's kind of emergency. Clunan's not in the starting eleven. Let's get him gone, even if it's not the best deal long term. There you go. That's club vision having an impact on the save. Um, right, we've been the better team here. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll be fine. What we need to do is make sure we don't take our eye off the ball in match situations as well. While that off-field stuff is bubbling, let's still keep winning football matches. McCauley is there. Had a couple of goes at it. It's Smith hits it back in, and I think that's an own goal. It's taken a big, big deflection off of the Geisley defender. Ended up in the back of the net. Smith is now our new club captain, by the way. Clunan was club captain. Um, that's two captains that have gone now, because Street was captain before Clunan. Um, so two captains gone. Um, Smith now has the armband, and he's not someone I plan to let go. I won't be pushing him out. He'll... Uh, He'll be sticking around unless a bigger club comes in and offers us money for him. But as it stands right now, if we can pick up this win, we move up to third place in the league. And it's my hope that even if the money side of things continues to be a little bit of a mess, if we can keep winning football matches, that will balance it out and it won't really matter. Um, Danaher's in. <laughs> That's a sixth goal now this season for Danaher. He's going to end up top scorer in the division. And I'm going to have to take it all back, what I've said about him. He is starting to do what we signed him to do. And it's weird because we're playing him in a role that shouldn't really suit him. He's playing as the deep lying forward to suit Marriott. And it seems to have worked for Danaher as well. We've got them into a partnership that's working. And they're both starting to score goals. And it's Geisley nil, Kingsley two. And importantly as well, we're starting to slowly but surely turn around our goal difference problems um, because we just weren't scoring goals early on. And it meant that all the other teams in the promotion race have got much better goal difference than us, which isn't a nice situation to be in going into that second half of the season. Right, we're going to take off Payne, who is tiring. Clunan's coming on for him. He's, he's leaving, but he can still play while he's here. We need players but I also need to get rid of players to get money in. Non-league management is hard when you can't just have loads of non-contract players. Clunan. <laughs> might be the last time you see him. To Carter. Back to Clunan. Carter might also be an issue because three times now I've had his manager, because he's only here on loan, I've had the manager of his parent club on the phone saying, Kev, you're supposed to be playing him as an attacking midfielder. And I go, yeah, 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 I will. Don't worry. He's my ball-winning midfielder. <laughs> and he's good at it. 
but I suspect he might be recalled from his loan in January because I'm consistently not playing him in the position he's supposed to be. But it's it's where he fits best into the team. So that's going to be an interesting one as well. I'd, on one occasion, I did try and have the conversation and say, but he's playing lots of football. Does it really matter? And the response was, yes, it matters. Play him as an attacking midfielder or I'll recall him. So I said, oh, OK. And then since he's asked since, I've said, yeah, don't worry. I'll play him as an attacking midfielder. And then continued not to. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one pans out. We could be left with no midfield and very little defence. This is a paper-thin squad. And this game seems to be setting itself up for a last-minute hideous equaliser again, which seems to be the theme of the series, late goals against us. Please don't do it again. Thankfully, it doesn't. We pick up the win. Um, well done, lads. Excellent stuff. We end the episode third place in the league. And fingers crossed, not about to get sacked because of poor financial management. <laughs> right, we'll be back in the next video sometime in January. I don't know when exactly, but Clunan goes before that York game and hopefully we'll move a couple more players on as well and be able to... Uh, there's a couple of moves I want to do. So sometime in January, we will be back. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos and thank you very much for watching.